Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day. I don't even know. I think I might put this as Vlogmas Day 13. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So today I have to, I was gonna be off, but we got a ton of snow outside, and so I actually ended up having a snow day on Sunday. So I am working today to make up some extra hours because I need that money. I really don't have anything like super cool or special planned today, and I mean, you're just literally gonna see what I eat all day long um, being keto. So I mean, what's a better day than a day I don't have things planned? to show you all what I eat. So, uh, let's see, it is 9.19. I woke up around eight o'clock, but by the time I like get things ready, throw a load of laundry in the washing machine, take the dogs out, all that kind of stuff, well, it ends up being 9.20 now, actually. Um, so I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Right now, I am drinking half and half because it's Christmas, so. I'm gonna, uh, you know, embrace the holiday spirit and drink what I want. And so, um, yeah, I'm just doing half and half coffee. Uh, my husband had to leave really early this morning, so I gotta heat the coffee up in the microwave. Now, if you're one of my subscribers that watches my keto videos and your you know, vegan or vegetarian or pescatarian, or you were following the ketotarian diet. Um, yes, I am going back to ketotarian. I don't know if I mentioned it in any of my other videos, but um, in January, I am actually going to start and I'm going to do 60 days of ketotarian. And so, if you are not in my keto motivation group yet, you should definitely join because I am always showing my meals and what I'm doing and live videos of me cooking and like, you know, just stuff like that. I do have that linked down below, so you can go ahead and click that link and come join the keto party in there. So I've been reading this book, which has been pretty great so far, and I'm actually going to try and read some more in here. Also, I've been reading this book, The Power of Habit. This is a great book to read, especially before the new year starts. We're actually doing a read and discuss for it in my keto group, and I haven't gotten very far yet because I just haven't had a lot of time. I think I'm on like page 21. Oh, I didn't even put a bookmark in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm on page 21. Um, but it's really great. It talks about how, um, you know, if you set a cue in order to do the routine that you want to do or the habit that you want to do and then you set a reward afterwards you're more likely to be able to keep that habit so for instance um what i didn't just do right now i was supposed to wake up and drink some water and then if i drank like say, I don't know, a quarter to half bottle of water, whatever I think is good enough, then I get to have my reward of coffee. So you know what? Let's go do that right now. Right now. Cheers. Okay, I think I deserve my coffee now. Happiness. Okay, so it is... 10.49, I am actually starting to get hungry. So I'm going to start cooking, but I probably won't eat until closer to 12 because, you know, it's gotta cook. I'm very cold right now, and I do have some chicken soup as leftovers, but I didn't really wanna just show you guys me eating leftovers, so I am gonna cook something. And I do have one pound of ground beef from Butcher Box. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook that up. And I'm feeling more of a comforty type thing. Um, so we're gonna do a ground beef and cauliflower rice, mushroom, semi cheesy kind of thing. Um, just using up some stuff. So yeah, let's do this. <music>
is my lunch. So it's the ground beef, mushrooms, onions, cauliflower rice. I put some steamed broccoli in there, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, onion powder, some chicken broth that I was cooking it in, and salt and pepper, some soy sauce or coconut aminos, and it's, oh, and some rubbed sage, which like, this literally is such a comforting, savory meal. And then I also have this little like drop biscuit I made. I'm testing out some recipes for some keto biscuits for Christmas time. So I just kind of like whipped this together and I'm not sure exactly like how it tastes, but um, I will definitely have the recipe up here on Vlogmas if I find one that works really, really well. So I'm gonna eat this. I'll probably spread some butter on my biscuit for some extra fat. And yeah, this is gonna be my lunch. Hello everybody, it is actually the next day, but let me tell you what I ate last night because sometimes it gets really busy at work and if I tried to talk, you know, like with my camera, with my food, you wouldn't be able to hear me because them college students get loud sometimes. So um, I ended up making myself a 12 piece wing, which they're not like breaded or anything. They still have the bones in them. So it was literally just chicken. I didn't even put any sauce on them. They were so delicious. And then I had a salad with bacon and tomatoes and onion and cheese, which was, it was like Parmesan cheese, feta cheese and shredded cheese, um, balsamic vinaigrette, which is not entirely keto. Like I know that there is some sugar in it, but for, you know, I was just doing that that one time because I forgot to bring my apple cider vinegar and my oil. So, you know, whatever, we're all not perfect in the world. It's, it's okay. But anyway, I had a really good day of eating. Like I felt very great. I loved those chicken wings. Like totally have to work again tonight and totally going to eat those again tonight. So this time I'm going to try and bring my apple cider vinegar and my avocado oil. That way when I do have a salad, it's actually pretty good. So I hope that you enjoyed this whole day of eating and I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas video. Bye guys. Ooh,